So whatever I have in Inventor, whatever design I have, I want to set it up as an STL file so I can bring it into the 3D printer software. Um, so two ways to do this. Um, quickest way is probably just go to File, Export, CAD Format, and then I take this save as type, drop it down to a .stl file. It's a 3D modeling file. Before I hit anything, I want to go to Options. I want to change my unit to millimeters. I want to change my resolution to either high or medium. Something this size isn't going to make much of a difference, so let's just put it on high. But units, make sure it's in millimeters. Then I hit OK and give it a name. Keychain one. So now that's saved. So that just quick file export STL. It'll make it work, but it'll give us a couple more things to do in the 3D modeling software. So another way that Inventor has built-in 3D modeling capabilities. If I go up here to Environments, and if I click on 3D print right here. Must first be saved. Hit yes. Okay. It's saying I have to save it first, so I'm saving it. Now this is just kind of a default 3D printer. This will not 3D print. Just so you know, you still have to go into whatever other software, whether it's MakerBot or Affinia. You cannot print directly from Inventor, but what we can do is we can set our orientation. So right now, if we print it, this is on the side. We want it printing flat on this back right here. So I'm going to hit this Set Orientation button. What that's going to do is it's going to rotate my whole piece so it will print correctly. So then I'm going to click on the part that I went down. Hit OK. If I want to rotate it anyway, I can do that all up here. Then when I go up here to STL, save copies STL, this will bring me up to there again. Options, units, change it to millimeter. If it's a source units, whatever, inches, anything, just hit millimeter. Because most 3D printing software works in millimeters. So when I bring it in there, it's just one less step. Hit OK save. So if I want to go back I can hit the exit 3D print button. But now we have our STL file that we can bring into our software. Depending on which printer we're going to use we either have Affinia Studio or we have MakerBot Desktop. If I just go to my start menu if I just type in MakerBot you should have MakerBot Desktop. MakerBot Print will work, but it's not as easy to use. So if I'm using the MakerBot printer, I click on MakerBot Desktop. If I'm using the Affinia printer, I click on Affinia Studio. In Affinia Studio, this will be the home screen if I just hit Build. Hit Add My 3D Model. And then I want to find my STL file. So if I open up that second one that I made in Inventor, it's already going to be nice and flat against the plate. If I were to do that first one, it's going to be sitting on its side. There we go, like that. So if it's on its side, I don't need to rotate it. Click on my piece, hit this rotate button. You'll have to figure out which axis, the X, Y, or Z. Notice when I come over the axis here, my X, Y, and Z right here change. So keep an eye on that. So I want to rotate it on this one. Let's go minus 90. Nope, that didn't work. Keep going right there. So that's good for rotating, but if I look, I'm sitting above the plate right now. So I need to flatten that. I'm going to move it. Drop to print bed, and we're going to save it. 